Hi guys, welcome back to FYP TV. My name is Brett, I run a channel called 2FC. Please check it out in the description and subscribe. So, Palace win away at Southampton for the first time since 1990 in the top flight. Fantastic. I like this Hodgson team. This Hodgson team is doing a lot of good things. Bar the first hour of this game, we're doing a lot of good things. We're not giving up. We go 1-0 down quite early on. Shane Long, really nice, really nice finish. Was unmarked, but a really nice finish nonetheless. Um, P, Pied, I want to say it's Pied, crosses it in from the right-hand side. Like I said, Long, unmarked, but smashes it quite low, and it goes past Hennessy. Can't, can't grumble. We can. No one was there marking Shane Long, but you can't, can't grumble at uh, Shane Long's first goal since February last year, I think it was, or April last year. Especially if, like a lot of people on Twitter are saying, Shane Long would be great at Palace. Him scoring now, so then us going, oh, let's get Shane Long. As long as he starts scoring. And he scored, and he played really well. Um, but yeah... The first half, the first hour, like I said, was very poor from us. Not much to talk about in the first half. Uh, a really great shot just before Long's goal from, I want to say it's Hoiborg or Hoi, Hoi Jiborg, um, Yeah, number 23, that's what we'll go with. He had a shot from about 30 yards out rocket and it looked like it was going top corner if it wasn't for Wayno's uh, fingertip save. It was really nice and that's where the goal come from because we didn't clear our lines from the corner. But yeah, 64th minute. Um, oh, what was it? I've written it down. My bad. Uh, ben Tech had a shot just in the 64th minute. Could have probably passed it to Sacco and had a better opportunity of a left foot strike, but oh well. Uh, 68th, James MacArthur. Um, really, really nice. Comes in from a cross, uh, sorry, from a free kick from the left hand side from Van Harnholt. Harnholt? <laughs> from Van Arnholt. Um It comes out to Andros Townsend who crosses it back in to Benteke who heads it across goal. And there's MacArthur, smashes it, roof of the net. Lovely, jubbly. Fantastic goal. Um, and then nine minutes later, ten minutes later, or if I could read my own writing, eleven minutes later, um, Wilf finds Andros Townsend down the right. Townsend finds Sacco, basically a one-two. Townsend takes a couple of touches, finds Luca, edge of the D, and he just smashes this from the edge of the D, right foot curled, finished bottom left. Ho, oh. oh. ho, lovely. If we're gonna talk about game winning goals, not a bad one at all. And especially after his miss on Sunday in the, from the penalty, this has taken our minds right off of it. And I couldn't be happier for him. Apparently, what I've been reading, he hadn't been able to sleep properly since missing the penalty on Sunday. I think that's a bit of an over-exaggeration. But if it's true and he couldn't sleep because of it, then he slept like a baby last night because that was a fantastic goal and gave us some much-needed points. We had some really, really good opportunities in the second half. Um, Zaha, I don't know how he didn't make this free one. Um, I can't remember if it was a free kick or if it was a goal kick, but it the wind takes it from Wayno and just it basically lands between Wilf and Menteke at the six yard line, and all Wilf had to do was just tap it. That's all he had to do was tap it, and it's 3-1. He 
Instead, he tries, I don't know whether he's trying to chip the keeper or dink it or whatever, but ends up going over the bar and <laughs> probably out of the stadium. It would, yeah, quite a horrendous shot. <laughs> but for the, for the sake of uh, comedy value, can't go wrong with it. <laughs> um, Wilf could have gone down and got a penalty. Could have. Could have, but didn't. It was definitely contact. Probably not enough for him to get the penalty. So that's why when he got tackled in the box, for all you haters, he got up and carried on. So to anyone who says, oh, he only does, all he does is dive. Oh, he shouldn't be doing this. Proved you wrong. He proved you wrong. He felt the tackle. He got up and... I think it went to Benteke who had to end up having a shot and it went blocked wide, I think. But but it was nice. It was nice to see him proving people wrong. Personal. Personal opinion, obviously. But yeah, so 2-1. And we're 14th in the league now. Can't can't grumble. I Bring on Brighton on Monday now. Bring them on. Because we will do them. I've got a feeling we're going to smash them at the MX. I say smash. As long as we can turn up. Then. Then we'll do. We'll do the business. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to FYP TV. Please subscribe to myself. And as always like. And share. Our. Content. Come on, you palace.